Hey guys, Pro Fisherman Tom Reddington here. Let me talk to you a little bit about bladed jigs and the trailer. The trailer is important not only in the actual look of your bait, but it really changes the characteristic of how the bladed jig swims. So it's something you need to take into consideration how deep you're fishing, how aggressive they are, you retrieve, it really impacts it. Let me walk you through it. So bladed jigs, chatter baits, hey, we all know they work. And a lot of times I try to imitate two different things shad minnows hey that's when the swim bait trailers those kind of mimic that action that look something that's long and cylindrical that's going to give you that look if i go with a creature bait something bulkier a lot of times they're up there eating bluegill when the the shell crackers all that stuff's up spawning that bulkier profile more bluegill colors and stuff i'm going to imitate the panfish more so for starters you want to match the hatch a little bit if they're eating shad go with the minnow type the swimmers the power swimmer if it's more bluegill, that's when I go with a creature bait. So the swim baits, that's probably the go-to. It, it's just, just a staple. Bass always eat shad. Something like the grass pig. This is a little bit narrower. I, you can see when I shake this, the chatterbait's gonna shake it. I get kind of a tight wiggle. The colder it is, I want something a little bit tighter. I, don't want, I want some action, but I don't need a big thump and swim. I just want something that kind of looks alive, but it's easy enough for them to catch. So the grass pig, when it's a post frontal day, I can downsize a little bit smaller. It's a little bit tighter swing, swim. It's kind of like a, a crankbait in the spring. You want the balsa, the tight wiggle and the colder water. Summertime, that's when the big wide wobble. So the grass pig early, the power swimmer, you know, that's where the bigger thump and tail, these, any of these swim baits with a bigger boot tail on the back, it's gonna be more of a swimming wide action. Hey, when it's warmer, it's on a, they're on a feed, I'm trying to attract these fish. I'll go with brighter colors, I'll go with a bigger profile. Uh, this is a 3.8 power swimmer from Berkeley. You can go up to the 4.3, you know, get the great big ones. You can go with smaller too, but it gives a little more action, more thump. If I'm in muddier water, I'm trying to help them find it. That's where the power swimmer and that bigger profile, the bigger thump, that's gonna help you out. Now the creature baits, if I want that bigger profile, if I wanna move more water, when I'm in muddy water a lot of times, a creature bait's gonna help out. Uh, it also gives that bluegill kind of panfish type presence. Now the Pit Boss, one of my favorites, it has these four little appendages back, th appendages back there. It's gonna flap a little bit tighter. Uh, it gives a nice swimming action behind it. And then any of the action craw trailers, this is a chigger bug from Berkeley. I mean, these arms throw out a big wake. If I'm in muddy water, if I'm trying to help call a fish in, if I'm going for big fish, I want that big profile, really attract their attention. That's when the big action craws are gonna help a lot. But here's the other thing. This is the really neat part about it. Now with a single tail swim bait, it swims great, it's a beautiful profile, it looks like a bait fish. The problem is it doesn't really kill the bait. When I come through and I hit a lily pad stem, when I hit grass, when I hit a limb or something, what's gonna happen is my bladed jig's gonna hit that and it wants to turn over. And when it turns over, this blade goes from kind of protecting the hook, to all of a sudden it turns over and it's gonna go right into it and snag it. The neat thing about these action trailers, if I have the creature baits, when I have two appendages, it kills it. It, it is gonna be hard with these two pulling right here. It keeps it upright. When I come through and I hit, and this is on the back, when I come through and hit a lily pad stem, it's gonna stay upright and not turn over and snag, but it's gonna keep my bait upright. Hey, when I'm in pad stems, that's a big time to catch these things. It's a, it's a different action than a swim jig, but I can put it right through pad stems, kind of thick hydrilla. If I'm gonna fish around wood a bit, that's when the creature baits not only give that big profile but the other thing is it helps get to that cover better and here's the other thing the flat the flat uh, side like this uh, pit boss has it also helps it glide a little bit more that's the other thing sometimes i'm in shallow water uh, i want to keep it high the fish are high in the water column and i want to go up over their heads almost like a swim jig or a top water and sometimes the grass, hey, a lot of times that, that hydrilla is growing to about three inches from the surface. These minnow baits, hey, great action, but the bait wants to ride deeper. I have to fish it faster. Hey, in the springtime, when you want to fish it slow, the creature baits, especially the beaver style, the pit boss like this, it's flat. It's going to glide more so I can keep my rod tip up and I can super slow reel it. So I get that slow action. Those legs are back there kicking and that's enough to trigger them. So really the trailer, hey, it's one of the most important. It, to me, it's almost more important than the actual color and the chatterbait itself. The trailer is really what seals the deal. Experiment with your trailers. Try to use a few of those tips. Hopefully you catch a few more fish.